whisper listeners and tingle seekers. This video is GB's 25 question challenge, the ASMR tag. In this video, I'm going to be speaking very softly, much in the manner you hear now. You see, when I first began this channel, I found the ASMR tag so intriguing, I actually did the 25 question tag as one of my first videos. And if you prefer whispering, that one is full of it. So please check it out. The link will be in the description below and will be floating around now on the screen in one of the corners. So please check it out. I have been tagged by Red ASMR. Please check out his channel. He's got some really good stuff. He began around the same time I did and he focuses very closely on tingles and triggers. So, what are you waiting for? Give him a look. After you watch this video, of course. As I stated, I have done this once before, but because I was so new, I had to change the questions somewhat in order to fit my current circumstances at the time. So you see, it's been about six months since then, and it'd be good to quickly go over the questions again and take stock. In case you're wondering, this is not a real glass of wine. It is a prop left over from another video, which I fastened from a glass and a bottle of red wine. Lovely. Before I begin the questions, I am obliged to tag five other ASMR artists, and the ones I have chosen are thus. I would like to tag Ting Ting ASMR. She is a beautiful ASMR artist who does some phenomenal role plays. I strongly recommend Princess Ting Ting. It's a very periodic role play and you will be swept away into a world of dreams along with her soft voice and delicate manner. Second, Late Night Tingles ASMR. He is so original in his content, his sound is so crisp, and he has a very natural talent for subtle mouth noises. Thirdly, Dalton does ASMR. He hasn't made any videos in a while, but I sincerely hope he does, because he has a very deep voice that is very calming, and his Reiki videos, incredibly soothing. Fourth, a particular favorite of mine, Dream Maker ASMR. His latest video, his first video in about a year. He's done a tribute to the 40th anniversary of Aliens and the video game Alien Isolation. He's very good with graphics and creating fantasy role plays. I love it, and you should too. Fifth and final, a good friend of mine, Stevie Chill ASMR. He, put, he puts up regular content, and it's always soothing, relaxing, calming, with a variety of triggers and role plays and tingles. He's a good lad. So, these are the artists I have tagged. You can find links to their channels in the description below. Please check them out. With that out of the way, we can begin. Question one, 
When was the first time you experienced ASMR? I think I have experienced ASMR in my whole life, but I never really understood what it was. I always experienced it from movies and TV series. For me, it all depended on the quality of the voice and the way people spoke at story times and especially when I got my hair cut. That wasn't included in the voice, but the sensation of getting my hair cut, especially when he took the electric razor to my scalp, my whole body just, it was a very good tingle. So I think for me, it's more of a physical sensation that triggers me these days. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Next question. When was the first time you watched ASMR on YouTube? As you may or may not know, I have another YouTube channel that focuses on video games, a subject I am very passionate about. And I was making a video on what would make a great Harry Potter video game. So I was looking for animated backgrounds and I stumbled across Gryffindor Common Room, ASMR. I clicked on it, and I was amazed. The quality, the image, the sounds, so lively, so colorful, magical, and yet so relaxing. It kind of washed everything else away. So my next question was, what is ASMR? What does it stand for? So I googled ASMR and what did I find but a video from Gentle Whispering ASMR explaining exactly what it was. Now this video had a very profound physical effect on me and I suppose a mental effect as well. I was a bit weirded out at first. My gut reaction was, I do not understand this. This is crazy. This is so weird and wacky. I need to know more. So I began watching more ASM artists. I found ASMR Zeitgeist and Paris ASMR and many, many others. Three, what's your favorite unintentional ASMR video? Well, I did link one in my previous ASMR tag, but one that really sticks out for me is in the Lord of the Rings movies. What's, what's sticking with me at the moment is Kate Blanchett's Galadriel, the way she speaks the tone of her voice, it just seeps into your mind like fingers raking over your brain softly and soothingly. Her voice and the portrayal of her character is truly something to behold and something not easily overlooked. Name the last five ASM artists that you watched. It would be easier to list the last 500. Well, Dream Maker ASMR. Mm. I forgot to mention. I'm also eating crisps. It's not a prop from the previous video. They just go so well with red wine. Mm. Cheers. Dream Maker ASMR. Then Tirar. A. DeGello, I hope I'm saying that right, otherwise known as Dr. Andrew Michaels. 
thinking about it, he has probably influenced the voice I'm using at the moment. If you haven't experienced his content, please check him out. He has a wonderful voice. He is very experimental in his role plays and very original. Very intellectual and quite spiritual too. I enjoy his work very much. Okay, that's two. There's been so many late night tingles, obviously. Ooh, Jelly Bean Green ASMR. One particular video I have watched over and over again is a very serious light exam. Light triggers are one of my favorites. I don't know how they get to me the way they do, but they do. And they are wonderful. And that particular video is fantastic. That was four, I believe. Who else have I watched recently? I watch so many that they get jumbled in my head, but it's the last five. Probably should check my history. That would be the easiest thing to do. Mm. Who was it? I remember now. These are memory crisps. It was Paris ASMR. I went back and was looking over one of his older things. I didn't understand it. It was all in French. But the way he speaks French, the way his accent sounds, is just some natural like the way he phrases his P's and his T's and his S's, they just kind of pop in your head. And it's so fluent. It's audible, Crystal. Love it. What is your favorite ASMR trigger to listen to? I would have to say to listen to, it is whispering, particularly binaurally, which to you may mean ear to ear. Ear to ear whispering is so soothing and I feel so personal and intimate but also quite giving and it's nice that ASM artists take the time and have the sensitivity to do it the way they do. What is your least favorite trigger to listen to? Do it. To listen to, to listen to. I haven't found one particularly, a sound that I don't like to listen to. Well, there's no sound that I don't like to listen to. There are sounds I don't enjoy quite as much as others. I'm not sure. Maybe scratching? I don't know. I think something to scratch. Do I have to do it? Yes. It tells me to do it. Uh, I need something to scratch. I don't know. The thing is, I don't even know if I don't like this, so I'm going to use my shoe. Actually, it's quite relaxing. You hear that? Why have I not done this before? I need to take a closer look at my shoes. Ooh, scratching on a chalkboard. Yes, I was watching it. Ellen DeGeneres had a look at ASMR, and there was a video of someone scratching a chalkboard. That did not soothe me. That answers that question. 
I do not have a chalkboard handy, so I will not be scratching it. Do you use ASMR to relax or fall asleep? I use ASMR to relax. I use it to fall asleep. I use it to wake up. I use it to focus. I use it to calm down. I use it to inspire me. I use it for entertainment. I use it when I'm cooking dinner. I use it when I'm drinking red wine. Cheers. You see, I have what's called an addictive personality. Once I like something, I go the whole nine yards. Whether it's video games, superheroes, magic, fantasy books, or ASMR. Don't you just love it? What is your bedtime routine? Well, it used to involve a lot of video games and a lot of Netflix. I'm a bedtime routine. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to answer this question because it's it can be very simple or very vague. After dinner, I chill out on the sofa with my partner. We watch Netflix or a movie or a TV series every night to calm down and unwind because we do work quite hard and it's nice to chillax at the end of the day. After that, we go to bed. He falls asleep. Well, he checks his phone. I tell him he shouldn't do that. It's not good. It keeps your mind active if you do that before you go to sleep. So he checks his phone. Me, I pop on my headphones and listen to ASMR before falling asleep. Most of the time, I fall asleep while listening to it. I don't watch it, not in bed, but I do watch it during the day. But for bedtime, I just listen and allow my mind to wander and ebb and wave until I sink deeper and deeper into the land of dreams. By the way, what do you think of this voice? It's just something I'm trying out. It's new and experimental. If you're enjoying it, please let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite trigger to do? Do it. I do love ear to ear whispering but I have recently really become intrigued with hand sounds. I say recently, I've always been intrigued by hand sounds. The thing about having an addictive personality is that you go through phases you're not really addicted to everything at once. At the moment, it's ASMR and hand sounds. But then it will be light triggers. And then it will be role plays. And then it will be superheroes. And then it will be charmed. And then it will be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And then it will be books and reading. But for the moment, my favorite trigger to do is hand sounds and hand movements. I particularly like this one. It reminds me of David Bowie and Labyrinth with the Crystals. Have you seen that? Watch that. Labyrinth. Made by Jim Henson. What a film. I cannot praise it enough. What is your least favorite trigger to do? Do this too. Favorite trigger to do? Now I have been at this for six months and again, there's not many any triggers I don't like to do.
Again, I haven't had any experience with triggers I don't like to do, because if you don't want to do it, then why would you do it? I can't think of any. I have yet to come across a trigger that I don't like to do. So I'm going to give you an opportunity now to challenge me. If you can think of a trigger I might not enjoy, or is just original, or hasn't been done very very often, then please suggest it in the comments below, and I will challenge myself to carry out your suggestions, provided they do not cause any bodily physical discomfort or self-harm. How long does it take you to make a video? How long is a piece of string? It depends on the video. Recently, I have been very involved in creating role plays that incorporate many special effects. So I've done a Doctor Who role play. That one's been very popular. I need to make another one of those. It's coming. I've done a Kingdom Hearts role play. That took a lot of special effects. And those take a very, very long time to render, to do the motion tracking, to get the coloration just right. Videos like this, where I'm sitting, I'm talking, I'm doing triggers, they can be relatively simple. I sit down, I can record them, I then add the background, I watch them back. These videos can take, if the recording time is 20 minutes, it will take another hour to watch through that and tweak it. I like to say, before that, it'll take half an hour to set up. So that's going up to two hours. And then the rendering time, the uploading time, the tags, the thumbnail. So let's say four hours all together, but that might not be in one sitting. That would be staggered out over like a two or three day period. Have you ever gotten tingles from your own videos? To start with, no. When I am editing them together, no. I am too focused, I am in editing mode, so I don't get tingles, but occasionally, very rarely, I have put on one of my videos to test it out, as it were. And very recently, sometimes, yes, I do get tingles. It's my impression that most ASM artists are immune to their own voice. Maybe not necessarily trigger sounds, but their own voice, I guess if you hear it all day, every day, it kind of becomes blasé. Do you watch your own videos? Not really. Very rarely. Mainly just to check them for any any issues that may arise in the editing process. But apart from that, no, I'd much rather support other ASM artists watching their content, commenting, liking, subscribing, because there are some wonderful artists out there and they are truly inspiring and they have really inspired me to, to carry on and they, they give me energy and drive and passion and it's, it's a wonderful community. So no, I generally don't watch my own videos. What software do you use to edit? I use Final Cut Pro. I use Motion 5 occasionally if I need any specific graphics, but mostly just Final Cut Pro 10. What time of the day do you film? Well, even after all this time, I'm still narrowing that down. At the moment, it is the middle of the day on my day off, but usually I film the very early hours of the morning late at night, between one and three o'clock in the morning, depending on traffic, depending on which day it is. What is your favorite video that you've made? So far, the Doctor Who roleplay. That was a lot of fun to conceive and to create to prepare for, to, to put the costume together. That one was a lot of fun. After that, my Death Note Shinigami roleplay.
That was a fun character. If you like Death Note, please check it out. Have one of your videos had an unexpected negative fan reaction? No, I, I have to say that all my comments have been very supportive and I'm very lucky in that regard. Not so much on my other channel, but on ASMR Whisper Time, I want to thank you guys for all your comments because they are really, really motivational. And I'm just so happy that I can help be a part of your relaxation and doing what I can to calm you down and end your day on an easy note. What videos of yours do you think didn't get the love it deserved? All of them. No. I would have to say the Death Note roleplay. At the moment, it's been up for a few weeks now. No, months. And it's only got about 80 views, which is pretty good. But considering how many people love Death Note, I expected a lot more. And I'm proud of it because I have is one of the videos I have watched back. And it is a good roleplay. It's an original character with I'm not doing it correctly, I need to watch it back. It's been a while, a very good long while. But yeah, I love Death Note. It's an anime inspired role play. And it is layered with some very good ambient sounds and very cool triggers. So I think that one deserves a little bit more love. What's something the audience doesn't know about the behind the scenes of your channel. I, I swear a lot. Um, I prefer to wear shorts. I like to wear something that's comfortable. I think that's the most important thing that you might not realize. Everything I wear is comfortable. Right now I'm wearing a shirt waistcoat, tie, and even some black trousers. But I have taken off my shoes and socks. I find socks very restricting. I love to be barefoot whenever and wherever I can. And yeah, with all the lights in the summer, if it gets really, really warm, I will just put on some really relaxing like pajama shorts just to relax and allow my legs and my feet to breathe. It's not really about the heat or anything, it's about blood flow and circulation and just, just, yeah, just feeling the oxygen, man. Your skin needs to breathe too. What's the most absurd request you received from a fan? I have had a request, but I don't know how absurd it is. I'm using this example not because it's absurd, but just because it took me by surprise, because it's not something I've ever considered. A few months ago, I did a video on footstep sounds. When I watch movies or TV series or cartoon anime, they're always noises, footsteps, and they really calm me down. So I did this video on footsteps, and one of the comments I received was a request to do barefoot ASMR. I've never considered that before. I don't know if foot sounds are any different to hand sounds. I don't know. It's not something... I wouldn't call it absurd or weird or different because by that very logic and definition, that's how most people feel about ASMR. You know, it all depends on the in individual. Do your family and friends know you make ASMR videos? No, they do not. A few close friends, very close personal friends know, but they don't watch these videos. They know about it, but they're not into ASMR. Uh, I did a video a while ago, it was a whispered ramble, 
on talking about ASMR because it is something I struggle with, even though I know there are people out there, there are millions of people who enjoy ASMR. But I find it difficult to talk about it. I guess I'm still finding my place in the community. I only really started watching ASMR a month before I started doing the channel. So that's about eight months ago, more or less. So I am a lot more confident with it now. I think I can talk about it, but I'm not going to advertise to people I know that I do it. I don't feel embarrassed about it, it's just I'm not sure how to phrase it in a way where I feel I can confidently get across my message in a clear and concise way. Have you ever been recognized in public? No, only by people who know me. I've been going for six months now and I have over 230 subs, which is fantastic. But no, I've never been recognized in public. But my goal now is to reach 1,000 subscribers. That is my goal, that is my drive. So I need your help with this. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos on YouTube, on your Instagram, on your Twitter, on your Facebook, any social media platform, and not just for me, do it for all ASM artists you love. This community is growing, but it can only grow with your help. Show your support and your love for the artists and creators that you love. It doesn't cost you anything, it only takes a minute, and you'd be amazed at how much that really helps. What inspires your videos? Sorry, what inspires your video ideas? Other ASM artists, video games, movies, daily occurrences, life. Life is art, and art is life. The world is a stage. If you actually look around and listen and think, you can be inspired by so many things. I have a long list of ideas of ASMR videos to make, and I just don't have the time to do them. I have more ideas than time to make them, which is a very positive thing, but sad in other ways. Where do you find yourself spending the most time online? On YouTube. It used to be video games, but now it's YouTube. Watching ASMR, watching sketch comedy, love sketch comedy, and pretty much just ASMR. It's like, like I said, I have an addictive personality, and right now I am trying to learn as much as I can about it in order to experiment with those ideas and create new triggers and new techniques. My favorite thing to do at the moment, video game and movie based ASMR role plays. They're coming, they're coming. What advice would you give someone who wanted to make their own ASMR content? My advice to you would be, do it. Go ahead. You have nothing to lose. You might really, really help someone that didn't know they needed it. I have been helped in so many ways by ASMR that I didn't even know I needed. It's made a difference to me in my life and how I see the world and how I move through the world. So my advice to you would be just do it. Doesn't matter if you don't have the equipment, doesn't matter if it's lo-fi or hi-fi. My advice to you is be yourself, live your life and do what you want to do. It's your world and you create 
your world. You shape your own life. So what are you waiting for? That is the end of the ASMR tag. If you are an ASMR artist who hasn't been tagged, that is not a problem. You can do the tag anyway. Start your own tag going around. Tag your favorite artists. Answer your questions. You don't need to be tagged. You can do anything you want to do. So go ahead. There are plenty of artists out there. For example, you might want to check out hashtag ASMR party. That was a big collab last month, and it was a lot of fun. I met loads of ASM artists I'd never heard of, and they have good content. So go out there, look, live, learn, and be happy there is only one you, and you are in charge of you, no one else. So be positive, love life, have a good night, and a good rest. Thank you.